Hi boys and girls, I'm back with another story time for you. So grab a stuffy to cuddle up with or a snack because today we're reading Is Your Mama a Llama? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I don't believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you're right about that. I think your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. Here's Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. She has a long neck, white feathers, and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think your mama must be a, what do you think? What kind of animal is that? A swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that's what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think your mama must be a, what do you think? What kind of animal is Jane's mommy? A cow. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I don't think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got hind legs and a pocket for me. Hmm. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that's certainly true. I think your mama's a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears long lashes and fur, and you of all people should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama, and this is the end. Look at that mommy and that baby llama. All right, I hope you guys liked that story. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine today and I'll be back again real soon.